friends, welcome to today's tutorial video. If you are going to host your website or blog or by WordPress, then it is really important to choose the right host. And if you are a newbie, then Hostinger is just perfect for you. Why Hostinger? Here's why. Whether you are a newbie or an intermediate, the cPanel that Hostinger provides is just awesome. It's not a classic one and it's designed for easy to use and it's livable. Let's start with www.hostinger.com I am from India so it's hostinger.in So let's create an account You can just register in one click by Facebook or by Google or if you don't have any Facebook ID or Google ID you can just fill up your name, email, password just create your account and verify your mail and after creating an account you will be needed to log in so I'm gonna log in with my Google account. Once you log in, the first page you see is a new hosting account. Just go to the free option. If you have a domain, then just enter your domain. And the password. And continue. So before creating your account, you have to describe in 5 words that why you are creating this account cause there are a lot of activations every day that are being requested to Hostinger. So once you are here, the status turns screen, just go to your domain, click manage. And here is a warning that your domain is not pointing to your name servers. So go to details in the accounts and these are the name servers of Hostinger. Just open your domain's control panel and configure the name servers accordingly. After configuring the name servers, you will be able to host your account. For configuring of DNS and the name server propagation and all those it can take up to 24 hours as per official timings but uh, we got another account here we will be using this account to show the next procedures so once you are in the cPanel on the hostinger you just have to move to the auto installer on the website Type WordPress so fill all the fields accordingly and uh, this passwords and username will be used for your login in the administrator account of your WordPress so after a few seconds just refresh the page and you will see something like this and your new domain is ready yes go to your domain slash admin or whatever directory you have installed a wordpress in slash admin and the wp admin login page will open in there just enter the password and username you have set for the administration and login the new blog is ready and you can also access it 